<laughs> All right. Cool. I'm so, on a mustache. I'm ready. You are so. You look like yeah, okay. Anyway, you look like um, the mustache, the double guy. <laughs> I was gonna say the peanut, the peanut. That too. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, if uh, Selena, if you wanted to go first, if you had any questions, uh, I like it when the, uh, when the. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so my uh, my question for everybody is, what are you reading and why? Who are you reading right now? Um, are you reading a book? Are you reading a, a journal? Are you dedicated to a blog post? What are you reading and why are you reading it? Hmm. Um, can I go first then? Okay. Sure. Um, I am reading, well, I've been reading Aragon, and um, even though I've read the books already, I just, uh, I'll open it up to a random page and read it because it just makes me, puts me in a really good place. Um, but uh, another book that I'm reading, actually Cricket sent it to me, and it's Return of the Bird Tribes. Ooh, um, good one. And it's by Ken Carey, or as, like, translated by Ken Carey. Um, but it's all about uh, these ancestors who were living in peace, and there's warrior tribes, and um, it's really helping me understand like why the the world became the way it became, and it's helped me to release a lot of things that I've held from past incarnations and whatnot, and uh, it's 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 a very high vibrational book with a lot of very ancient wisdom. So if you're looking for some ancient wisdom in kind of like a like a sacred Native American way, then Return of the Bird Tribes is definitely a good book to read. Thanks for the question. That's a good question. Ah, really good question. I actually, my book is currently upstairs in my other studio, but it called Keys to Happiness, and I actually found it on a table outside of a store at a free book lift or whatever, and it was with, nice. like, four other books that, like, one was, like, The Queen's Keys, and one was actually called Shannon's Way, and, like, four other books, right when I needed them, they all just were, like, laying there in perfect synchron or synchronicity for me, and I believe the book's actually by the Reader's Digest from, like, the 40s, and it's so funny because all the topics in it as I read them, and I don't get to read too much lately because we've been so busy and updating the website and everything keeps me super occupied, but like every time I read a chapter of it, it is like so synchronistic with what's going on in my life. It's crazy. And I actually looked up the book a while back to see if they had a new version of it, and they quit making the Reader's Digest books. And the last one that came out, all of the stuff was about making money and all kinds of stupid stuff, but, like, this really old version of it is all about, like, taking time to yourself and spending time with your family and getting to know God and the Spirit, and it's just really cool how back then that was the thing, and kind of sad now how the newer version is all about money. I could not agree with you more. Hmm, beautiful. So I have a question for both of you, and okay. my question was, is, what... Spirit, what animal spirit are you working with right now? Uh, right now, I would have to say that the animal spirit that I'm definitely working with the most would be my mouse. Um, and I am working with the mouse because the mouse is very, very fastidious. Um, and really concentrating on protecting their family and their little den and their space and really loving um, that space and bringing in enough food. Um, and so they don't waste any time. They get up and go. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely working with my mouse energy right now, um, which is pretty uh, humorous because um, my, my personal spirit animal, my, my totem animal is actually a wolf. Um, and I travel as a wolf um, most often and am most connected as my spirit guide um, to my wolf. Um, but I am right now I'm working uh, in, in the present moment with my mouth. Um, so that's, uh, that's my answer on that one. Yay. 
Right. Um, I guess uh, mine would probably be interesting enough. I have a, a, a spirit skunk. Um, it's very black and white, obviously, and it sprays things like a skunk does. But the reason I think I'm working with him a lot is because um, I've been dealing with a lot of interesting energy coming at me lately. And when my skunk comes around, he's like reminding me when a good time to spray my emotional junk is and when to, to hold it in. Because he, uh, he generally only sprays if he really, really feels threatened. And he doesn't just spray all the time. And I feel like I'm battling with keeping a lot of my emotional junk in rather than just spraying it all over everybody every time I see them and like really just using it to like get out what it needs to get out and I think it's kind of funny because Selena mentioned what her like her normal totem is I think my other one's like a zebra because I like to run free and they're both very black and white but when I'm a zebra I see it as like a, a, a rainbow zebra so the fact that I moved to my skunk which is my other black and white spirit animal really means that I might be a trying to like put down some darkness and keep the light going in my life and that's been going on like all retrograde <laughs> but it's finally like coming back to an end and he's calming down all right Philemon so, what about you what what yeah, that's what I was gonna say hey hey that was my question <laughs> I was gonna ask you before I asked my question what your spirit of it was dude it was for for a while it was um I was working with a horse, which uh, kind of like why I had the, that's not why I had the mohawk, but it definitely helped, um, which you can see here. Horsey. Um, what he painted? Man. Yeah, I painted that. So if you want to buy it, 500, no, I'm just kidding. Um, man, I've been so distracted lately. I don't know if I've been focusing on any animal spirits. Um the last one was the horse, and the horses are just polar bear. Yeah, yeah, it is getting into winter, and I'm starting to focus more on the polar bear who who goes into hibernation, um, very protective of their kids, and they're done as well in a, in a different type of environment. Um, they're just they're so beautiful, and they're such good swimmers, and they just love the cold, and they love the snow, and they love to play and have fun and and that's what I'm all about I don't like coca-cola and I don't like that coca-cola uses the polar bears for their for their Christmas stuff so coca-cola please stop that because polar bears are much more than just marketing schemes so actually I can maybe help you with that a little bit because they actually donate five percent of their total profits uh, not that I'm in love with coca-cola company either um, but they actually donate five percent of their total profits during the holiday season to protecting the polar bears and the polar bears um, space so really? wow. do actually do that. That happened about eight years ago um, because National Wildlife Federation actually put a lot of pressure on them for that very reason. And so they actually donate that money to support the polar bears preservation. Um, so that's, uh, it, I agree with you. There are lots of companies that do exploit the animals, but this is, uh, that, this is one indication where we won. <laughs> we won yeah. the polar bears. <laughs> At least they're doing something good for him then. That's yeah. awesome. That's just a good sign that our, our world is definitely kind of making that switch. Shows what activism can do. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. For I sure. like how so. when Silo switches animals, he, uh, he's been doing paintings lately. And when he first came to me, at least, for, with Project Bring Me to Life, he was painting an owl, and he had been following the owl. And then he went into his horse stage, and now he's slowly, he just did a horse and he used a different kind of paint. And I, I'm really proud of him because uh, it's kind of a hard medium to just start with. And he did a horse and I can't even do a horse. And now he, uh, he just started a polar bear and I could just feel his polar bear coming in. So I knew he had an animal. He's just was being modest. Yeah. Um, it's okay. I just, like, this is the uh, owl painting. Oh, I love him. It actually kind of connects, like, right there with the horse. And then now I'm working on the polar bear, who uh, will go on top of the horse like that. So, um, yeah, thank you. And Shannon, it's time for your question, my lady. Okay, I must ask you both a question. Um, 
what is your favorite holiday? Since she was talking about holidays and different things, what's your favorite holiday and why? Nice. Let me think about that. Uh, my favorite holiday is absolutely Beltane, uh, which is May 1st uh, in the Wheel of the Year. It is the sacred marriage of the gods and goddess, uh, and it is the time of great coming together and sacred love um, blooming in the world. Um, we say that we light the Beltane fires so that on no night love does not conquer all things. Uh, and so as we approach Samhain um, now in a week, uh, the southern hemisphere is actually going into Beltane. And so the two most important holidays are New Year and the Sacred Marriage of the Gods um, correlate at the same time. So it will be, for the southern hemisphere, it will be Beltane on October 31st, November 1st. And for the northern hemisphere, it is Samhain and the Day of the Dead. So uh, those are my favorites. Mm. Awesome. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was going to say my favorite holiday. Well, <laughs> this is really interesting. Uh, I made a I made a video blog the other day, and it was about Christopher Columbus. And basically, in the video, I was just asking for forgiveness um, for what happened with the Christopher Columbus experience when. Uh, the the white people or the Europeans came over and started, you know, taking land from the Native Americans or just uh, like claiming land that belongs to the entire world. And so I was asking for forgiveness in that video. And I think Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. And a lot of people see Thanksgiving as something bad because of what happened with all of that. And like let's celebrate um, these white people coming and taking everybody's land. Um, I would like it uh, to be seen as a, a, like a forgiving um, moment or a forgiving holiday when people can come together and see past their differences or see past um, being separate and just show each other forgiveness, show each other love and, and feed each other um, not only food for the physical body but um, you know, spiritual food and like good vibrations and, and positive love and hugs and, and all that stuff. So I feel like that would be my favorite holiday. And again, please everybody forgive Christopher Columbus and everybody who's involved in that. Awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. I like those Beautiful. answers. Good job, guys. Good job. Thank you. Um, so, Josiah, the last thing was a shout-out. So, Selena, do you have any shout-outs? I do. I'd love to say hello and thank you and so many blessings to everybody who's watching and to all my sisters, especially in the South uh, and all over the country who have been working and praying with me. Um, I'm so thankful for all of you. I wish I could see you more. Um, I am especially um, going to put out a special request that if you are against fracking and you are against the, uh, the powerful um, damage that it can do to our beautiful Mother Gaia, I urge you to please go on Facebook and join the group called The Warrior's Call. And it is the pagans that are united against fracking. Right now they are petitioning the UK government um, in both Ireland and England proper to do fracking during the, near the sacred sites, including Stonehenge, uh, the Tor, and Avesbury, all highly sacred circles. Um, if they do this, the potential for the Chalice Well, which is our sacred well um, that has been an ancient and sacred well for over 4,000 years, um, could be corrupted and destroyed. Um, it is incredibly important that we stop fracking worldwide and as global citizens, we have a responsibility to do that. So please go out and uh, go on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, and join the Warriors Call, um, the Pagans United Against Fracking group. Uh, whether you're pagan or not, please check it out um, and, uh, and stop and contact your legislators and, and people everywhere to stop fracking. So um, thank you so much for letting me put that little plug in because it's a, it's a cause and a group that I really believe in and work um, ardently worldwide to uh, stop fracking because it's 
everyone deserves clean drinking water. Everyone. Yeah. So um, that's my shout out. Yeah. Wow, that's a good one too, and you're really making a step our game up. Thanks. So, <laughs> it's it's really uh it's it was kind of funny seeing you uh be so serious with your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I am super serious with my mustache and monocle. <laughs> right. So okay, um, Shannon, did you want to shout out? Um, yeah, I want to first shout out to Nick Monicky who isn't here, so I get to be a co-host for a week. Good job, thanks. Um, sorry you can't be here, but hopefully you'll be back with us next week. Um, also, I want to shout out to Uche and. Um, this fight lullaby for their video that they just dropped at 8 o'clock and we have on the website which means we got to premiere it and I am super pumped about that because that just makes me feel like we're doing good things helping out our friends and other awesome people and I want to give just a couple shout outs real quick to uh, Jacob and Cord and Ree and Elisa and a couple other people I was trying to chat with and chat and now I think I'm good I'm going to let you go over to yourself now <laughs> Thank you. I wanted to shout out to Kavita, who we met in Detroit um, last week, and she was really excited that she got to that she got to meet me in person. Um, she was really pumped about it, and she wanted to take a picture with me. And it was the first time that happened, so she was it, so excited. That was so cool. <laughs> yeah, I was really excited. I was really pumped. I was like, oh yeah, thank you. And it just uh, it kind of makes I don't know, makes you feel good when you know you, that you're a part of something something good like this. Um, you know, I, I didn't wanted to shout out Ree too because she's been really all about this um, this project Bring Me Life and she's really supportive of me and well, us and Ashton and Spaceship Earth and, uh, and all that jazz, so uh, appreciate it. <laughs> and well, that's all I have for shout outs this week, so uh, yeah. And I'd like to thank uh, Selena for being part of this podcast. Thank you so much for having me. You guys have all been amazing. And Kahina, if you're still on, I will contact you on Facebook. And thank you so much for sharing and promoting the podcast tonight and being here with us. And I will contact you to set up your reading through, uh, through Facebook. Real quick, I want to say personally, Selena, um, I don't know if I got to tell you this before or not, but I wanted to say thank you because you mentioned Rootwire being your favorite festival, and if it wasn't for you coming down here and seeing me before Rootwire, I actually wouldn't have got to ever be a part of Project Bring Me to Life. So that's pretty awesome, and I'm glad that you finally got one there. Oh, I'm so grateful to have helped facilitate all of those beautiful meetings and, and connections. And I really just believe that this star family is growing and beautiful and strong and that we are going forward into shepherding the light into everyone's lives. And I know that you and Philemon and Ashton are doing that and you all make me so proud. And I'm so grateful to be connecting with you and, and working with you every day. So I love you all. Well, we are doing it. We are opening all the chakras. <laughs> <laughs> Open all the chakras. <laughs> totally opening all the chakras. We hope we have opened them for everybody. That's funny. We're actually <laughs> on the quote. <laughs> Selena, that quote is uh, is for the uh, chakra page, isn't it? Or Yeah, my what is chakras, which is on the website, guys. If you don't know what we're talking about, you don't know what a chakra is, check it out under the what is section. And Absolutely. we actually, we like to quote things, and you were my quote for that page. It says, open all the shockers. So Thank shout you. out to all our Rootwire family that got to hear that screamed all weekend. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And if you are interested in learning how to open all the shockers, you can contact me either through the Project Bring Me to Life website or through Facebook and, uh, and work with me on a workshop on how to do just that. So we can uh, we can work on your chakras. <laughs> Let's open a ball, guys. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. So uh, the last thing I want to say is there is a, um, a shoot a guest book. Yes, that's it. A guest book. Um, so that's under the contact tab. And if anybody would like to leave a positive message for 
project Bring Me Life or any uh, any person who's been on it or is on it, um, just leave your comment there because we, we love them. We do love them so and much. And there's a poll. Check out the poll. We're making a walking stick. We want to give things away. Check out that. Yeah. So fill out the poll. Check out our website and keep keep watching. Keep uh, keep keeping on. Um, Dude, and how long how long does the podcast stay up on the website? I've had a couple of people emailing me now saying that they've missed it, but they want to watch it. Uh, it'll be up um, from now until who knows? It'll be up there for a really long time, maybe but all actually, of eternity. We'll put. The, the podcast, the live page, stays up until next week. Um, and when they'll watch us live, it'll stay there until it updates it next Tuesday. It'll stay under the podcast tab forever because every week we update the podcast tab. So anyone you miss, you can check out. Wonderful. Thank watch you. all of them. <laughs> watch all of them. Yeah, cool. Um, so besides that, the only other thing that I have to say is that love has no fear, no vengeance. But no, um, <laughs> I just want to thank everybody again. Thank you, audience, for uh, being part of this and interacting with us and chatting with us. And next week, po next week's podcast is going to be Cosmic Village. Um, so check yeah. out her new video. And, uh, Do it. Yay, Uche, we love a couple you. Of times, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the only thing else I have to say is Project Bring Me to Life. Wake up. We love you. We love you. Bye.